Hey guys, Zaru you here, and today I'm playing some H Paladin Frost Mage 2v2 with my boy, Mr. Brown, aka Versace X, and we're playing a com against a couple different comps here, starting off against Rhett Resto Druid, and I kind of want to continue this 2v2 series just because I know there's a lot of people that do play 2s that don't play 3s at all, they kind of just do 2s for cap, and this should help them quite a bit. So, in this game, I, we did a Hajj onto the Druid, into the Sheeps, doing damage onto the Pally, and more so than anything, I'm focused on kiting the Pally and out DPSing them. This team was about 22, 2300 maybe, so not, you know, super high, but not super low either. And initially, I thought against, it would be really, really hard to win against almost any team as HPAL Frostmage, but we have been doing pretty well. So this is something you guys can definitely try yourselves. Um, I want to point out one mistake in this game. I should have probably been Glacial Spike. I'm playing Comet Storm here, which doesn't really help. I was uh, just preoccupied in the starting room, so I couldn't actually go glacial but if i could redo this instead of ring of frost i'd probably be frigid winds and instead of glacial spike i would i mean instead of common storm i would probably be glacial spike just to let you guys know if you're fighting the same matchup that's probably a little better spec to play um you could actually maybe try kleptomania as well i think temp shield is definitely not bad and having normal spell steel is definitely not bad but klepto could maybe even end up the game a little sooner it's something that mm, haven't really tested out too much klepto in twos but it might be pretty decent especially going in dampening when he gets a four row of pots and just being able to take that um and it's not only not healing him but it's also healing you but look at this the pally just running in uh, we get bubble at the start of this game. I actually cut it out But they were just sitting back for a while. So dampening right now. I think is at like 30 plus percent um, Games now start at 20 percent dampening. So after this far in, I think it's a little over 30 percent dampening Basically this druid can't heal through it. I'm kiting this red. I'm not taking much damage So my pally's having no problem healing me because I you know I'm just kiting him and the, the druid really just can't heal through the constant frostbolt flurry damage He just really can't so that's kind of the strategy we do against um, melee, um, resto druid and twos, whether this is a warrior, like you saw that other time, whether it would be, you know, whatever. It wouldn't really work against, say, like a feral druid because he would just continually shift and actually catch up to me. But, you know, it works against quite a bit of classes. Well, what it wouldn't work against is a BM hunter, and I'm going to show you guys a clip of that after this to kind of show you how you have to change up your strategy a little bit depending on what you're fighting like he right now would be an amazing klepto by the way so i kind of wish i was klepto plus i wasn't really temping that much so yeah if i, if I would fight this again i'd probably go klepto because the rest are true and i'd probably go glacial spike and i'd probably go um frigid winds just to keep him a little bit slower he's kind of running towards my pally a little bit chasing my pally down because he's like i can't hit this freaking frost mage um so he's just chasing pally down a little bit Get a ring there. I tried to ring the pally and then sheep the druid so we couldn't sank the hajj, but the pally ends up tringeting the ring and sanking the hajj anyway. Um, sank is a 30 second uh, ret retribution paladin cooldown that will break stuns off of your healer. I can link it for you guys if you want. But yeah, just continuing, continuing doing the same thing, guys. This is like pretty much how you want to do it as a frost mage. You don't have to take damage from this ret if you don't want to. You don't have to push in for sheeps on this druid. Um, over and over and put yourself in bad position because he's going to shift most of them anyway, right? So just continue to kite, minimize damage taken on yourself, and maximize damage on him by just frost bolting, frost bolting, frost bolting, frost bolting until you can eventually get something done. By the way, little side point real quick, got a new transmog. Um, I don't know how well you can see it just in this game, but maybe I'll show you in another video sometime. It's pretty hashtag, bros. It's pretty hashtag. Got that silver, white, gray theme going on. Got that Tower of Brilliance. It's looking beautiful. But yeah, look at this. The, the, the Pally's getting so low. I actually get a little ballsy and push in. Here would be another great Klepto. Basically, every time that Druid overgrowth, overgrowth is a great Klepto. So yeah, definitely definitely want to go Klepto for this. I haven't used Temp Shield most of this match anyway. Trying to get more CC, but look at this. The guy is full hots, and I'm just spamming Frost Bolts, and the Frost Bolts are keeping him low. And that's just because dampening is so, so, so high. So I actually think that damp... Look at this. I'm actually ch I'm turning the song up because I liked that song <laughs> right at the end. I actually think the dampening change for twos is a buff for Frost Mage for whatever reason. Frost Mage h pal is a lot better when dampening's high because we can just, you know, kite and do continual goes like this. And the, you know, especially against other melee classes, they can't really handle it. I lock out that Druid there in the cast. We, you know, with CC, just like Poly, Hodge, Lockouts, boom, Rek goes down. I'm not exactly sure what the dampening is. I would say around 40, 
40% dampening, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, probably a little bit higher actually. Maybe 50% dampening that the pally goes down. And look at that, not, not a bad rated team either. Here is a BM Hunter H file. So if you try to do the same thing against this, you guys are going to utterly fail, right? You're not gonna be able to out damage a BM Hunter if you're just sitting in his line of sight, um, frost bolting on him. You're just not, it's not gonna happen. Uh, because that pet, you can't kite the pet. It's gonna constantly teleport to you because BM is super lame. So instead, I tried going on Paladin in Hammer of Justice Goes. So we kind of open here on the pally. He pops his human trinket and he is playing Relentless. So I'm like, oh, wow, this is really, really, really good. I still have Icy Veins, I still have Orb, and this guy popped his human trinket. So next go, we could probably get Bubble if we don't mess things up. So kind of just waiting for that. I do get bopped up here. I actually want to point out a mistake that I do in a second. I, I already watched through this footage. Um, I got I Temp Shield right now and I still have that bop up. Very bad. Um, since I had that bop up, I should not have Temp Shield until after the bop expired. It ended up not really mattering too much, but you know, always want to point out the little mistakes um, when I can. Getting pretty low HP, but my pally, we are in Skype, and my pally is saying, no, dude, you're fine, don't block, so I trusted him. Um, we get that Hodge into that Bell of Silence, I pop Icy Veins or Blizzard, spam Ice Lance, and boom, we force the bubble out. So now the pally has no human trinket, no bubble, the hunter has no trinket, and the hunter's getting kind of low himself, so I'm kind of just hitting the hunter in the meantime. Because, you know, like I said, guys, dampening starts at 20% now. So right off the bat in twos, you pretty much start going ham. Another little mistake is I actually take the eye. I didn't even notice that until right now. I thought I was pretty far away from it, but I do have that eye, which means I take 5% increased damage. Definitely not what you want to do. Um, something that I do like that I'm doing right here, though, is sheeping the pet. Sheeping Haiti. Hadi? Haiti? I don't know. But I'm sheeping the pet so that... Uh, you know, the, the, the hunter is a BM hunter, so if I shoot the pet, I'm not really taking much damage. We go on the pally here, we get, um, pet sack from the BM hunter, which is very, very good. Uh, I, you know, can get my orb back pretty easily with just, you know, casting blizzard. The pally's having trouble topping himself off because I'm just kiting these melee wings. He just can't hit me. Uh, key to these games, I guess, is just kiting it. Um, I do want to note that I am playing Glacial Spike and Frigid Winds in this game. Um, not Klepto, obviously. But it's, it, you know, definitely not bad. The Pally Pops wall, so there's no pet sack or wall. So next Hodge is going to be pretty juicy. Um, he might have Human Trinket back up right now, though. So we get a full Hodge onto him, getting some damage off, and he, he actually Human Trinkets. Now there's no pet sack, no wall, no Human Trinket. Um, and I do have my Orb available. So next time we can get a full Hodge onto this guy, next, you know, next setup is going to be pretty uh, freaking good. Pally's just topping around here. We're kind of playing back. I don't know how good it is to play back. When we play back, I had to sheep that pet, just like last time, because that pet is, you know, is what's doing the majority of this hunter's damage. But he's had to push back in now a little bit. I do have my orb, but next time that hammer of justice comes up, uh, it's going to be very, very good. We get the full Hodge, casting the Ebon Bolt into the orb. Or not the Ebon Bolt, sorry, that was Frostbolt, I guess. Into orb. I have that Blizzard down, I have everything down. Um, have that Ebon Bolt available, so if I can get this Ebon Bolt off, he could go down. Get the Ebon Bolt off, but he does a big heal at the same time. Pretty good by him. I could have locked it out, though, maybe, if I wasn't, you know, playing slow. Stacking up these Frost Bolts for another Glacial Spike. Let's see if I can get it off. Go for a, you know, Flurry into Ice Lance combo there. Have the Glacial Spike into the Hammer of Justice. He's getting so low. I can actually probably kill here in about 20 seconds, because I have Orb coming up. And, you know, now and I have Icy Veins coming up in 15. So if I don't kill before then, um, you know, my next Icy Veins go is going to be pretty incredible. I do lock the pally, though. Have an orb down. Have this blizzard down to keep him just so slow. And I am just literally killing a pally. It's so weird to have a Frost Mage soloing something like this. But it's definitely impossible with deep dampening and the way twos work right now. It's kind of the strat strategy that you want to do, especially against something like a BM Hunter. Um, you belt one of those heals back there. Glacial Spike. And I have my Icy Veins back up. So next time this Hodge comes off, um, it's going to be very nice. I pop my Icy Veins just to keep him nice and low. I guess not the most optimal time since I don't have Orb, but we do get that full Hodge. Have that Ebon Bolt go off, and the Pally does go down. So pretty awesome match there. I'm going to fast forward the rest of this because this Hunter was being awesome and uh, not letting us kill him right away. There's the scoreboard if anyone wants to see it. Pause there, check out the Demuge. And uh, here we're hopping into one last game. So yeah, we actually, every time we were queuing this, I thought we would do terrible, but we actually do, you know, not have bad. Uh, we're winning most of our games. Here we're fighting a Demon Hunter, our Shaman. And here I think either Shaman goes or Demon Hunter kiting, just like against the Ret team. 
is very viable. The problem is I troop kick there, shoot the shaman full, so that's a pretty good opener, get his adoption. Um, problem is there is that demon hunters have a lot of gap closers, so it's very difficult to actually kite them. So this game is going to be very difficult if we, uh, you know, if we just go demon hunter and try to dampen. Sheep the demon hunter though. I'm trying to push in with a hooge onto the healer. Um, blink over icy veins orb, ice nova. Cast that blizzard because it's instant. With that orb talent, storm rage is on or whatever. Keep that blizzard down to reduce my orb cooldown. And the blizzard damage isn't too bad. Gives you procs, it keeps them slowed. Like, Blizzard's just really insane. It doesn't seem that good, but it's really insane. A huge glacial spike onto this Demon Hunter. Lock out the Shaman. Demon Hunter's just getting so low. I get a nice flurry proc. I blink Belf the heal, so lock out into blink Belf and the Demon Hunter goes down. So we just did a nice opener, go on the Shaman, and then just CC'd him and killed the Demon Hunter. Not a bad game there either, guys. So yeah, try out some HPL Frost Mage in twos if you guys need to cap. I'd say it's the best comp. Maybe maybe with a Druid is a little better, but this is one of your best comps as a Frost Mage. Um, definitely try it out, guys. Let me know how you do. Thumbs the video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Talk to me down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace!